So the ego, <laughs> the, the moment it thinks its position is going to be threatened in some way, it will come in and it will start to defend its position even though it, it's really one of these employees that like is slacking all the time. Like it, it, it's not helping us the way that, you know, and it's like, oh no, they're on to me. I'm going to get fired. I better, I better show that I'm good for something. And it's kind of like the ego's last stand in its, in its fear. Fear is the ego's last stand, you know? So, so Rupert Spira talks about how, if you imagine like a computer screen and that's the, the context of existence, like, um, so all these different um, movies can be played on this computer screen, but the screen is always the same, right? The, the screen is always constant. And so the screen is consciousness and the movies are just the, the play, the grand play of life that's happening. We're all appearing and then we die and then our kids live here. And so um, when we look at this, and we start to see this movie for what it is, it's not real. Like I, I'm actually the screen. <laughs> the screen saver is fear. <laughs> I think it's such a great analogy. So even if I, I, I can see the movie's not there, but there's still, I, I turn off the movie and then there's that screen saver and I have to allow myself to feel through that and see through it for what it is. It's not real. It's not, um, the fear it tries to convince me to buy into is not even legitimate. And it's literally doing that just to justify its own existence because it's afraid. The ego is afraid and I'm not the ego. And so I can allow myself to feel through that deeply to be free of it while not buying in. The buying in is what will keep me spinning, but I can feel through it. And so this, this screensaver of fear, it gets um, we project that onto everything in our lives because we don't know it's just our own. <laughs> and so we think like, oh, I'm afraid of this and I'm afraid of that. And I'm afraid of that. Well, what's in common with all those things? It's the fear and it's the filter through which I'm seeing because we all have that screensaver filter through which we're looking at. So no matter what is happening in our lives, we just keep turning it back onto ourselves. What am I carrying that's, hel that's helping me perceive it in a certain way? Not helping. Um, what am I carrying that's causing me to perceive it in this way? And then work on that and then all of those things externally, th those perceptions will disappear.